Coach, I want to share with you a couple quick variations off of a one three one that I think you're going to like. I've played the one three one. I've coached the one three one. This is a different variation. We we call it the two, and here's the variation. A lot of times, when the warrior spot down here, they're responsible for guarding each corner if the basketball were to be passed there. However, with this defense, we're only going to have this player go one step outside of the paint, and if the ball and when the ball goes to the corner. Our wing player is responsible for selling out and taking away the three and guarding the corner from the high side. Not going to let this player dribble the basketball back up. Not going to let this player dribble the basketball up to the middle. They're going to try to funnel this player and stay on the high side to take away the three and force him to drive and shoot this shot. We're essentially letting this player shoot that shot all day. We're just going to get our hand up. That's it. All right. And we're going to grab those rebounds. So that's one of the big variations to this type of defense is the big, notice I said big because a lot of players won't put their big here, they'll put their big here. We're going to put our big here. They're going to be responsible for guarding the post and they're going to be responsible for protecting the paint and they can only get a step outside of the paint. Our wing players are responsible for both the wing and the corner. Yes, they can do it. We've, we've, we've been successful with this defense. And they're not going to let their player dribble the basketball back up. And they're trying to push them down here. Okay. Now, depending on the opponent that we're playing, we'll do some different variations with here. Now, I'm not going to get too much into the weeds because we're going to pull a, a, a full 1-3-1 defense course with Coach's Edge Coach. Um, later this spring and summer because there's a ton of little things to this defense that we want to show you what works, what we've had, um, what, what teams will try to do, and some of the things that you're really going to be able to take advantage of as far as different variations because there's a lot of little tweaks and variations based on some of the main principles that I'm sharing in this video. But if we pass the basketball here, we still have the option to sell out and trap, which we would do every once in a while. And if we did that, Two can slide over and deny. We're going to drop slightly, trying to take this pass away, right? Our bottom is taking any cutter through option there, and we're giving up a skip pass coming across, okay? That would be an option to trap out of that. Again, I set this up in a 2-1-2 because two, two, most teams are going to attack it in some type of 2-1-2. Two, two. Again, when you run zone, you see a lot of the same stuff, all right? So... With this in mind, there's a lot of different variations. If the basketball is up here, right, and they're ping pong in the pass back and forth, we can keep this player here. Let's say we want to give a little bit more of a, a pressure type look. We can come here, ball gets passed. We can bring our three out. We can set our two in. And when we're playing this type of defense, this player just stays on the top side so they can't get denied. Ball gets passed back. We're here. We sit on the high side, and this makes us very easy to guard these corners because we're using two players to guard the high post and the two seams or slot areas. So with this defense, pretty darn effective, pretty darn easy. This player starts to get a little closer to the wing, and the ball gets passed over there. No problem because that's this player's responsibility we're going to come over here we're going to be in denial we're trying to funnel that pass down here this is where communication comes into place because we'll have specific guidelines as far as distance where's the basketball at where's the basketball at we're going to bump you off and let you sit or we're going to let you say and say you know what that's enough of a distance that you can guard here ball gets passed and still get there. These are some of the rules that we put into place as we start to teach this to coaches and players as far as how they can communicate at a high level and make sure the wings aren't getting in trouble because they're stretching themselves out a little too far. So as we finish this out, just think about those couple little variations on the one three one of being able to chase down on a pass and garden it from the high side and try to push them to the baseline with help putting your best rebounder big contest shot blocker down low and they're just roaming the paint essentially going back and forth 
They don't have to worry about coming out and trapping unless that's a specific look that you want to give within your team. Any questions, let me know. Contact at KramerBasketball.com.